Hi, my name is Lena Miles, and I'm an intern here at the Earth and Spirit Center. I'm Zoe, and I'm also an intern here <laughs> at the Earth and Spirit Center. And over in this area of the Earth and Spirit Center, we're going to try to introduce wetlands because they are actually very vital to all the Earth's ecosystems. Um, wetlands are great for flood control, and they are also great for uh, holding lots of different biodiversity, like lots of different uh, organisms and plant life. Wetlands are used as a breeding ground a lot, so a lot of young and eggs are usually um, found there, and like destroy, <laughs> destroying them could like take that um, ability away from those uh, populations. Wetlands are also natural filters for water, so when it floods and like overflows into wetlands that filtrates the water and helps it to be cleaned up for um, to be reinduced into other water systems and that just increases water quality throughout the entire water system. <laughs> um, one way that you can we can help clean up the wetlands is removal of invasive species. Uh, there is a species of cattail that is known to harm wetlands and make them um, have an abundance of certain nutrients like nitrogen and phosphorus, which can be very harmful for the organisms that don't usually experience those levels of it. And that can also cause eutrophication, which um, when an organism that feeds specifically on those nutrients uh, will um, come to that place and just take over everything. They take over all the space, take over all the food, just because there's so much of it, so they can reproduce very easily. A way you can tell that your wetlands are not healthy is if you get a gross green algae bloom on top of it, it can show you that there's an increase in nutrients within that system. And that's what you need to know about wetlands. <laughs>